Hey guys, it's Praise New once again, and welcome to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to design a simple new week flyer or social new week flyer. So this is the design we are going to be making is a very simple one, but I'll be starting all over again. So choosing a white background, moving over, choosing this size. I've already done that though, but in case you want to replicate this design, this is the size I use: 1280 by 1280. Yes. Album changing the background color. It's a gradient color so this is the one i'll be using in case you want to replicate this design i'll be dropping the color codes in the description section so you can also copy from there to use it i'll be uploading an image for the background okay gallery fill up i'm increasing it yes and i'll be reducing the opacity so because it's too bright let me reduce it. Um, I think 34 will be okay. Okay. It's looking perfect. Let's lock it. I'll be importing another one. I'm in gallery. This one I'm going to make use of. Okay, I'll increase it. So in case you want to this template, you can actually I'll be dropping my WhatsApp number down there between the description. So I can actually send them as files to my WhatsApp on my WhatsApp. So if you want to replicate this design and you need the resources I use, you can chat me up on WhatsApp because I'll be dropping my WhatsApp number there. So that's left for you. Now this is what I want, then I'll lock it. Another thing I'll be doing is this I'll be increasing this vignette here. I will enable it, but this one I will use down to like 45. 45. Mm, 46 is okay. So we are good to go. I'll be uploading another image from my gallery because one thing I like to play with is just how to mix backgrounds and all that. It's just some have fun. Okay, so this one I'm going to be making use of. Now you see this image here, we can't use it like this because the background is not yet removed. So we are going to be moving the background. You can only really achieve that if you go down here. You see erase color. Then you enable it. So you see something changed. Then the tolerance. You take it down to 17. You now come to your color here. Enable it. And there's a color I'm, we are going to make it. But let me make it a little bit dark. Okay. So reduce it a little. I think this is perfect. Let me try something. No, no. So I'll be locking it. I'll be bringing in our main image of which we're going to be making use of. You can actually use your image or you download the stock image. Like this dude. Okay, this is it. I'll be increasing the size. Okay. After increasing the size, I will also increase the lightning because the background is actually something very bright. So the picture needs to be also bright. So I'll be increasing the brightness to like minus four to plus four rather. Then I'll be locking it. We are going to be making use of our flowers. Yes, I'll import some flowers now. Of which I've already removed their backgrounds. Yes. So that's my pix art. Now this is the one we are going to make use of and we are going to go through that same process of removing the background because other online removal background will not totally remove this thing for me because it's kind of blur and the blurness is what I really want. So I will be doing something like this. Okay. Then this black line here, we are going to make removing it so we can only crop that out. So we'll crop it out. Okay, so we'll be increasing it. Yeah, another thing we are going to be importing is another flower. So I'm going to my gallery. My pins, my pins. Then I'll be moving down because it's been long I downloaded this image actually. So it's supposed to be somewhere here. Okay, this is it. 
then also we'll be moving the background now we'll increase the tolerance okay and also be changing the color okay. then okay now let's reduce your opacity Like I said, you can be creative about yours. I'm placing it. So, I can just place it anywhere I want. So, it all depends on your creativity. Now, I just have a few that we should just raise this flower up a little bit. Okay. Then, I want the down part to be <coughs> very, very kind of darker than the upper part. So, I'll be creating the gradient there also. So, I'll be doing this. Moving over to gradient then this is the same color we use for the background anyway i'll reduce this down carry this up so something like this okay i'll be taking it to the back behind the picture so you drag it down i think it's okay Give me one one shot. Then probably be locking it. Yes. Going to my gallery again. Just want to pick up one effect. My pix art. Then this. Now this is actually flower. So I just um, use an app to blow it. <laughs> If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below i think we are done with the mixing of backgrounds and other stuffs so let's go back to adding our effects so we can add anything we want like um it's okay i've gotten an idea hello Oh, happy new week week Monday okay let's just use this I'll be going over to fonts I'll be using um what's the name of this fonts next board for this placing it here the color of which I will change I'll change this color. I'll actually make it darker so I can be able to use it. So this one I'll make it darker. Okay. I'll make this darker. So I might just decide to just use um any color like maybe no perfect then we use a size and let me just add a little text here it's i just want to like happy new week it's monday king so the Monday will be very big, a very big font. So let me just put it like this. The only thing we are going to do to this text is to align it. So this text is to align it. Okay, this is what I want. So I'll reduce it a little. Then another text, Monday. And we are going to be using another different fonts for this. This Dream King demo regular, that's when I'm going to be using something like this. And then increasing the size. So. So 
something just told me that i need to increase the size of my picture because there's excess space at the up so i'll do that soon let me just take this behind the picture and see what it looks like so okay it looks perfect but i need to really take the picture up so i'm increasing the size okay looking back then this one actually go up then this happy new week it's monday need to bring out the size a little bit mm -hmm. no sorry or oh, mm, something like this I'm not satisfied with the color anyway, so I'll just be changing the color. The, the color I used for my flyer, couldn't find it, so I'm kind of looking for a color that will actually match it. Or will black do? No. I'll use white. Okay. Now let's actually do something here. This. Sorry, I want to reduce the opacity of something okay now let's do another effect of which i will explain to you let's lock these text so that they don't just move out so in finish on, finishing up this design do i've already added my contact so it's pretty easy to do that there's another effect i would like to teach so we're going to have to choose shape now this one will be something like a glass effect that will be here reducing increasing the Radius by 12. The thing is okay anyway. Then going to your gradient. Now, in this your gradient, you choose the first color. You can push it down to white. Then the last one, you push it here. Then the second one, push it here. Then put this one here, somewhere here. Then you slant it. Slant it. Sorry. Maybe something here. I just didn't take time. My phone is hooking. So we're using it like that. Be increasing our stroke by two. Change the stroke color to white. Then the radius, the blow radius, increase it by two. So we're having something like this. We will not reduce the opacity. Okay, this is looking perfect then bringing out another shape now this is not really necessary but if you really want your design to come out well you can also do the same same process 13 13 but this time we're going to reduce the opacity down to zero then our stroke by two change it to white then blow videos by two now we now reduce the opacity of this the one we just did okay now it's looking perfect then we match these two together so we just press down here press it to this down button here you see do you want to make you say yes okay now it's being matched it's now one so you can also reduce the size then also reduce opacity because i don't want it to really show very well okay this is monday we didn't lock it so let's lock it Now we're going to be placing the text over here. Let me go over by typing it. So that's how we created a new flyer.